you see this uh, second recording here? That's because I accidentally recorded this whole video while recording the, uh, the wrong monitor. So, take two. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's uh, Mac here. Welcome back to another new video. Today we are talking about Alfred, uh, an app that I probably use more than any other on my computer. Uh, well, yeah, I, I think that's definitely true. Obviously, I'm not going to get into everything you can do with Alfred, because I'm assuming if you've gotten this far into Alfred and you're watching a video about theming, then you're already pretty into it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the preferences. Uh, so I'm using the default theme by default. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, the only thing that I've done is moved it a little bit over to this side of the screen, which you can do by just holding down command and then grabbing kind of this bottom area here. And then you can move the thing around. It's kind of picky about where exactly you can grab the window. You can also, while you're over here in the preferences window, uh, just come down here and hit options and then move the window around in this little previewer. Uh, actually, since we're in this window here, let's go ahead and get rid of this hat. Uh, so just check that box right there. Hide hat on Alfred. Not a lot to say about that. I just have a hard time imagining that many people are using Alfred with the hat on. All right, so what uh, this video is about is I've created a couple of themes for Alfred uh, that I thought people would be into. I've been using them for a while, but I just recently decided to make them public for whatever reason. Uh, the first two that we'll take a look at here are the uh, Solarized Dark and uh, Solarized Light themes. Uh, these are kind of based on, well, actually, first, if you're interested in getting the themes, uh, go down to the description. There's a little website called uh, Packle.com. Is that it? This is a website hosted by, I'm not actually sure if it's the creators of the app or just fans of the app or something, but anyways, it's a really great website kind of built around Alfred that uh, is just a good spot to host a whole bunch of really handy workflows and also themes. So if you come over here and click on themes, uh, for the time being, just because these are sorted chronologically, um, all four of my themes are at the top because obviously I've added them pretty recently. So you can grab any of these themes by just clicking and then just hitting this button that says import theme. And that will launch Alfred and add the theme without you having to download anything. Super, super easy. Well, I mean, I guess on some level you do have to still download something, but it's kind of, it's, it's a simple process. Uh, if you're not interested in that, there also is a link to just download the actual theme files. But that being said, uh, let's just go through them really quickly. We've got uh, these two Solarized themes, and these are based on uh, kind of a lot of the text editors that I use. Uh, let's see, do I have one? Oh yeah, Adam. Adam, VS Code. A few others use these really nice solarized themes when you're spending a lot of time writing text and stuff it's really nice to have an easy to look at theme and these solarized themes are really really great for that uh, so I use them a lot and I also wanted a theme for Alfred that does the same thing just because it's I get used to that color scheme and it looks nice so that's cool uh, I've got a light and a dark version so whichever you want dark versions got kind of this green scroll bar the light version's got a dark blue. Uh, and then next up, we've got some transparent themes. These are based on a uh, spotlight. I don't think I actually have a spotlight open here. Let me see. So if we open up spotlight, you'll see this is obviously like OSX's alternative to Alfred. Uh, it's weird that I phrase it like that. I think Alfred's probably an alternative to Spotlight. Uh, anyways, this looks really nice in OS X. Obviously, it's built with the same kind of design principles that the rest of the operating system is. So basically, the idea was just to create a transparent kind of glossy theme that also looks the same. So if we look at Spotlight and then look at my theme, they don't look anything like identical or anything, but that's kind of the inspiration. I just wanted something that would kind of blend in nicely with the OS. Um, actually, the goal was to kind of make it match more with this menu bar up at the top and have the text and everything reflect that. So all of these are going to use the default system font. You can change that pretty easily if you're interested. Uh, I've also got a light version for, you know, lighter wallpapers. Yeah, so if you're using like kind of a lighter colored wallpaper, a lot of times the Alfred theme won't look as nice. So we also built in a light theme that looks really nice, that looks a lot nicer on kind of lighter wallpapers. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention is that by default, I have built all of these to be basically as lightweight as possible, uh, meaning that I just want, I, I don't want them to take up any more space than they need to. I want them to look nice, but I also want them to sit in a spot 
that's theirs and not really bleed into anything else. And so in order to achieve that, I've basically made this window as small and compact as I possibly can. Uh, the main thing that we've done here is made the window as narrow as possible. And while that works really well for me, uh, I think a lot of people might like a slightly larger window. So if you look at this black bar down here while you're in the themes, it's kind of tell you what you're editing. Um, and then what you want to do is just bring your cursor right above the window here until you get the option to resize the window width. By default, mine's at uh, 400 pixels. And if you just click and then drag, you can widen that out a lot. And you'll notice kind of why that's a thing if you look right here at this text. Uh, a lot of people are I'm assuming are going to want to like like a wider window because you're going to get more information inside of a window. So that's handy. With a, with a smaller window, you'll oftentimes get stuff cut off. But frankly, I don't really care that much. And I, I got to think most people won't either. I just use Alfred to quickly launch things like virtual machines, apps, uh, you know, do uh, quick searches and things like that. So it doesn't really matter if a few things get cut off. Uh, but that's about it for this video. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in downloading the themes, again, scroll down to the description. You've got the option to import them directly from the Packle website here, uh, or you can uh, download them directly and uh, do it that way. Uh, but that is about it for this video. Uh, thank you everyone for checking it out, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.